Auburn had their spring game Saturday. We were over there Thursday, and they were getting ready for it. We watched their last practice before the spring game. Uh, Cam Coleman looks like an alien in person. He's a true freshman. He may be the most physically impressive player on their team. A five-star guy out of high school. They talked about that dude like they talked about Julio Jones once upon a time in Alabama high school recruiting circles. Uh, I know that's lofty. He hasn't done a thing in college. He's going to do a lot in college. I have very little doubt about that. It's really amazing to see him up close because he, I think, just turned 18. Their wide receiver room is significantly overhauled. And he's the crown jewel of that recruiting class. And uh, like I said, I wish you guys could see him up close. The defensive line, you know, was what it was during their spring game. That's been one of their biggest questions all throughout spring ball. I think they're going to have to mine the portal for a couple of guys there. there there's a wide range of, like, rotational opportunities. Uh, I, I don't think at all they have the depth there they want. That'll be a portal focus. But just this, this team in general... It's obvious a lot of young guys are really good, which is not rare. When a new staff comes in, it's like Mario down at Miami. Their best-looking players are all freshmen and sophomores. Well, that's the way it's going to be at Auburn. And the thing about it is sometimes those guys are ready. More times than not, they're not ready. But if you know you've got some rope, and Hugh Freeze does, then you go ahead and play him. Had him on the show last week. We went down to Auburn and had Hugh Freeze on the show. Uh, Here's what he had to say about young guys. So I was walking down the hallway, you guys were walking into a team meeting, and I'm asking folks, hey, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Mm -hmm. And every one of them I keep pointing out from an impressive, like, physical standpoint, I keep hearing, oh, that's a freshman. Oh, he's 17. Oh, he's about to be 18. How many of these guys, as much as you can say in spring, Mm -hmm. are going to play meaningful football for you this year? Um, more than than I desire, <laughs> but they're going to have to, and and I do think they're really talented kids. But um, you know, are they ready to step into the SEC and play? Um, maybe not, but they're going to have to, and we'll we'll see how they do. I mean, the Cam Coleman's of the world, or he's been really impressive in in spring, but you know, Amaris Williams and and Waller at defensive ends are, are going to have to play some. They're going to give us some minutes for sure. Um, some inside guys, the DBs, I think, are talented, the young ones. Um, you know, but some of them are going to have to play for sure. Now, it should also be noted, their starting kicker is out for the spring. The backup went seven for seven. And he talked about him. Freeze actually took time to talk about his freshman kicker. I don't know what that team will be. They don't know what that team will be because they hope some very, very integral pieces to that team are about to be added in the portal, which is it kind of summarizes how a lot of staffs feel right now. Hardly anyone is breaking and wrapping spring practice saying, all right, we're set. Now, in a perfect world, you would be, uh, but both sides of the equation, the, the, the exit door over here, the entryway over here, a lot can still change about these rosters. And the thing about it is, I'm not telling you this. I have no guided knowledge of this specific thing, but what if Auburn just went and landed two elite defensive linemen out of nowhere? How different would you feel about their team is my point. So that kind of stuff's going to happen somewhere. So let's see if it happens at Auburn. Right now, over-under win total at FanDuel, 7.5.